Also tonight, we're talking about hot cars on a cold day. The Buffalo Auto Show is back in town. It's the perfect way to escape winter, and that's exactly what Mike Randall did. Who likes fast cars? Whether you are fast and furious, just a Sunday driver, or somewhere in between, this year's Buffalo Auto Show has it all. No snow, nowhere to go. Come here and stay warm. This is Paul Stajak's 23rd year in the driver's seat as the president of the Niagara Frontier Auto Dealers Association. He says this year's extravaganza is all about transition. It's just different. We're changing vehicles now. You know, we went from the minivans to the SUVs to the pickup trucks. Now we're going from gas to hybrid, hybrid to EV. So it's a transitional show. This is the third year you'll find the Energy Zone here, a place to check out some of the new EVs and learn about New York State's plans for keeping them charged. It shows about education now. It's not just getting in a car and finding a color. Even if you're not looking to buy, there's still plenty to see. How about this beauty? The state troopers used it during our last blizzard. No, absolutely. You could drive this upstairs. You could drive it on pretty much any snow. It, it proportionately puts out the weight of the vehicle on those tracks, so even a higher snow drift, it'll drive right on top of it. If you have a lot of cash burning a hole in your pocket, maybe you'd like this electric Lamborghini. That's the priciest car on the floor, worth about $350,000 plus originally. Now, with the upgrades, it'll set you back about a cool half million. If you're working with a tight budget, and who isn't, you could try one of these beauties, street legal golf carts. You don't even have to play golf to buy one. And if you prefer two wheels instead of four, electric bikes are all the rage. Golf carts, they go for 11000 So electric bikes, they go for 800 So someone can drive out of here from $800 to, to over half a million. So yeah, no matter what your budget or car preference, you're sure to get a real charge out of this year's Buffalo Auto Show. Mike Randall, 7 News, Buffalo.